<laughs> What's up, y'all, and welcome back to the reality kingdom where we put the real and reality. Right up. <laughs> that was a loud one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know, Sarah, we were talking about what it was Lee. Lee, how'd you like the app app? Um, so, so. I didn't really like it that much because my mother, Tell us. mother Tiff Tiff went home. Tiffy Toes, oh, America's Fair no. Player, Mother, Queen Mother, as some would say. Mm-hmm. She's out. Um, oh, and Alyssa Lopez went before her. Amanda Garcia before that. Daddy Luis at the same time. It's oh. like, damn. Oh, all the it girls are going. And then who's still in? Tori. Bananas. Monty. Monty. Corey. No, I don't care about Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. Keep it cute. Oh, Keep it cute. Keep it cute. I said Fessy. Keep it cute. You can't have everybody's man. <laughs> no, not Fessy. That's Michelle's and Amanda's man. No, that's my man. So he's not hooking up with nobody this season? He always he's hooking up with somebody. Me. This season. You weren't there. <laughs> and you were a boy. You didn't see me. That's what happened. <laughs> so I was, I'm always there in his heart. Anyways. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wes gets back to the middle of lying. <laughs> Girl, I literally said Wes comes home and gets performative. I said Wes gives a BS speech. Guys, I just I just feel like you guys haven't given me a fair chance. Oh, I, would, I, would, me a chance. I would love if I could have a fair <laughs> chance to finally play. Cause I this is my this is my first time ever even playing the challenge. And you guys haven't given me a fair chance. And I just feel like since I'm a rookie here and I've never played before and I don't know what this game is about, that you guys should give me a fair chance. Cause of course Wes. you're not judging me as if I'm not an all-time challenge vet. Wes, bear this dick in your mouth. How about that? Like, oh, please, be God. I just need him to be fucking. I need him to be so fucking for real right now. And Wes is just being so fucking for fake. Did you see how his uh wife went off on everybody who's from Survivor or something like that? Yeah, she was like, I hate when people are trying to question his integrity or something bullshit. And it's like, girl, first of all, this man was lying, and no one bought it. Integrity. Please be fucking serious. I don't know if she I used mean, that exact verbiage, but it was like some crazy shit. It was some shit similar. She was like, the Survivor was my favorite show, and now I don't fuck with them because the Survivor girls didn't didn't keep my boy West in the game. Girl, what the fuck? <laughs> like, girl, Anyways, you Cassie get on, still uh, on her Bloodline show. I guess. Get on the show, then, then speak, ma'am. Cassidy, <laughs> Cassidy still don't trust West. I still don't give a fuck. Chris still on Team Green. I still don't give a fuck. Chris mad at Tyler and Monty. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> Chris like, I mean, I called out Tyler and Monty, but they're on a team with me now, so I'm a team player. Fuck up. Do something. I hate everybody. Shit. Why, I was going to say, why you got mad at everybody? Tiffany like, Gold, you just done. Like, Chris is weak as fuck. Now, I'm not mad at Mother. So, <laughs> Michaela, she walks in a room with Wes, and she was like, oh, I'm surprised you're not going to the dungeon, which is a, another room with Tori yeah. and Amanda. Mm-hmm. And he was like, why would I, you know, why would I go to the dungeon? She was like, I don't know, I'm just surprised. And he was like, well, why do you treat me like this, Michaela? <laughs> he <laughs> like, he goes straight into victim. Why do you treat me like this, Michaela? What have I done to you? Michaela was like, I don't know why you're trying to pretend to be sad. I don't do anything mean to you. What do I do mean to you? <laughs> <laughs> so what's like, the room? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> He's not talking about anything. I fucking hate Wes because he literally just chats. He just chats and chats and chats and chats and chats. And it's like, sir, you are not really talking about anything for real. You are you are all lies. He's a bag of lies, a walking, just a walking man of lies, a walking web of lies. He's just a liar. Anyway, he oh, has God. Lies. Don't get called out by his wife, Chad. He has what? No, no. Call me out. <laughs> Where's has diary? He says, you know, Michaela's that girl. <laughs> Basically. She's that girl. And she's just very anti the challenge, so she got to go. And it's like, of course she had me. Try it. Try she it. She had me pressed too. If if if, if I was in a house with a with a queen, <laughs> you'd be pressed. Press, 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 press. <laughs> Michaela's diary, <dying. laughs> and she says, "Look, I'm not gonna make the same mistake I make on everything and think that Wes is my ally because he's not. A friend today is not always a friend tomorrow. Period. Can't pin trust today, everybody. Pin them tomorrow. Pin, pin them forever. Them. Period." Mm-hmm. Child, they really trying to make this Tyler and Alyssa show man's thing a uh, thing. Like Tyler and Alyssa, I, I mean, I think it's cute. I'm just saying, like, they trying to make it like a oh, every like know, every you know single diary room and confessional and thing with Tyler has been about this show man's. I can't wait to see. It looks like next episode he probably actually gonna get tested 
because people have been saying his name. I think people think they can just whoop Tyler's ass in elimination. I think that's mm-hmm. what's hilarious. I think I people are really underestimating Tyler in his house because he's so small. And, you know, challenge dudes are literally just whoop. But don't underestimate Tyler, child. I think Tyler can really, especially because the competitions, the eliminations are way more equitable. Like, if this was in the heyday of, of, you know, hall brawls and 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 and, and dick dolls, I don't know. And he probably mm-hmm. have uh, some actual competition, but girl, mm-hmm. don't sleep. I just don't see other than Sebastian. I'm just I don't. Oh, and Josh, of course, Josh. Naturally, I don't see him being able to beat anybody else. So hopefully, he get if he gets in it, hopefully, he gets one of them because I don't. I don't see. You know, I, I think I can see him beating. Uh, I can really see him like taking down like a challenge vet type shit. Girl, please be serious. I mean, we'll see. I guess so. <laughs> Tyler, and, oh, he talked to Liz about her last showman's, which was with a racist. And oh my God. she tells him about it. She tells him how they broke up. Alyssa has a dire room, and she's talking about how, you know, last season I had a showman, and I'm not going to do that showman shit again. I actually really like Alyssa. I never really hated Alyssa. She was just nowhere to be found. And she also was a little bit nowhere to be found. But in the challenge, you know, everyone can get a storyline, especially if you have a showman. And honestly, the more I see her, I kind of like Alyssa. I think she's chill. She minds her fucking business. And she's there to get her motherfucking money. I love people like that. There's a lot of people who are not like that. Like Josh, who just try to put themselves in everybody else's business. And I love that Alyssa minds the fuck. Alyssa minds the fuck out of her business. Even on her show. Even on her season. They was dogging out Taylor. She was like, honestly, y'all, I kind of don't care no more. There was like literally two, three conversations. She was like, I kind of don't care no more. Y'all still trust about Taylor. She minds her fucking business. I support Alyssa. I'm sorry. Boom. But she has a die room. She's like, I'm not going to show mass again. Tyler has a die room. He talks about Angela again and again and again and again. Baby, we get it. You stay Angela. She broke up with your ass for your turn. Oh, my God. And now you're here and you're a better man. I do like what he said to Alyssa, though. He was like, you know, I just feel like I'm an elevated version of myself. It's kind of shade. Because <laughs> he also, he's like, like damn, uh, I could be myself and. Oh, I'm not weighed down by this big ass say, Angela. It, def- it definitely gave other way around. No shame. It gave Angela needed to be. Mean? I mean, we saw how Tyler acted <laughs> on his appearance in a, in a relationship versus Angela. Tyler was crying and ready to go home. Angela enjoyed her life, went home and left him. No shame. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tyler was stressed in the house for a different reason. I think it was a he's afraid of being infidel because oh his God. real true love was in the house with him. But hey, that's just me. McKenna Say anything. <laughs> McKenna has a diary room about how she went home first on her first challenge. And she yes. Said, I'm not I think that was Spies, Lies, and Allies. I didn't watch that one, but she went home first. Her and I think mm-hmm. um, Natalie. She part, her partner weighed her down. So who's her partner? I don't know. I feel like I, I thought she said that. She was like, I don't got a partner now, so I can, I can really get it. But um, she went home first, and she said she's not doing that again. And she was like, everyone expected more from me, and especially her, what was it, her godfather. And she's like, I'm just here to make people proud. I'm here to make him proud. And I was like, go, girl. I know that's right. Don't, she didn't let us down. She didn't go home first. You're good. All right. Check. Now let's make a final. Period. Then we get to the challenge. Let me pull up these motherfucking pictures. And now. Period. We get to the challenge, and there's some hamster balls standing out there. So two of the team members are going to have to be in the hamster balls. They're going to have to knock down these um, poles. The poles are holding tires, and the tires have letters on them. So once they knock down all the poles and the tires, then the rest of the team members are going to get the tires with letters on them, take them to their puzzle board, and solve five, five words across, five words down on their puzzle board using the letters of their tires and the letters that are already automatically placed there, right? Boom. So, for the red team, Chanel and Corey, they're the ones in the ball. Tori and Fessy are in the ball for blue, and Monty and Alyssa are in the ball for green. What do you think of this challenge? Because I'm thinking, how are y'all going to make it equitable for blue versus the rest of the teams? And I don't know. How did you feel about the equitability of it all? Because I was like, I mean, it's just not there, but I don't really (laughs) expect. The challenge is just not that type of show. Like, I don't expect them to sit people out and do certain things like Period. I mean because they won pretty easily and it's like well they it's had the most people collecting tires and solving the puzzle at one fucking time I mean like of course each other team had five people and they had what two extra they had seven yeah 
Like, so they got done fast. Honestly, y'all, it, it was like very, very quick. They finished first with getting collecting all the tires, knocking them down. I like the defecting up. rule. I think the defecting rule was cool. Maybe I don't know what they could have done to make it less like everyone wants to just join the same team. Maybe like two people can't do it in the back to back or something. I don't know. But the mm-hmm. fact that like everyone just went to blue and then blue just kept winning because everybody mom is on blue. Which or yeah. maybe maybe that's another thing. Like if you're gonna do team challenges on the challenge. You should sit out players because Survivor does that all the time. If yeah. a tribe has extra members, they sit people out. Yeah, I think that just is easier. But yeah, that's, I, I guess this thing with the dangerous. challenge, I feel like there's a lot of things that you could consider unfair on the challenge. I feel, and I think this is just one of those things where it's like, mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, that's the name of the game. Like at the end of the day, the stronger team wins. And I feel like they could have had okay. Each team has two collecting the tires. Two in the bubble, so that way blue could only have two people collecting the tires instead of having fucking all seven of them, um, or something like I don't know. They could have designated the amount of people, but they don't give a fuck, period. Especially all the challenge matches on blue, they was like, Let them win, yeah. So blue just very quickly got the tires, and then even though they weren't the best at puzzles, they had the most time to do the puzzle, um, and the most people. There were seven of them all doing the damn puzzle, so they ended up winning the challenge, of course. Boom. Not shocked. And Tori ass is happy because he's like, well, the vets are finally in control. Not only did they win, but they yeah. are going to end up controlling this vote. Because fucking Fessy, girl. But, I mean, they would have had to vote. Was gonna Sebastian was going to do whatever Tori yeah. wanted. I like Fessy's gameplay this season so far. I think it's pretty savvy. Um, I mean, he's, he's doing what Josh could have done successfully and probably <laughs> better. Because I think he actually does have some strategic sense. I don't say that Fessy doesn't, but I think Josh has a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, because at the end of the day, Fessy has to Fessy can rely on just being, you know, Fessy. He's strong. Yeah. He's good at these challenges. Like, like, a player like a player like Josh, you have to have some strategy to your game. And going off on people is not strategy. So I think Josh should have definitely <laughs> occupied this role. I mean, Corey and Fessy are playing better games than him. Yeah, they are. Stupid. So Josh does have a plan. He does have a plan, and I'll give him that. He got a plan. His plan is to, and I have a question mark because I didn't understand it. His okay. plan is to target two survivor girls. Mm-hmm. And my question mark was by girls because if you if you know the challenge, typically, if you're going to an em- elimination, it's going to be against someone of your same gender. Um, so What's best for Josh is to knock out anyone who could eventually beat him in an elimination or a final. Because even in finals, a lot of the times, do they know how the final is going to work this season already? I don't remember. No, they don't really tell them until the end. But, okay, yeah, that's the thing. In finals, a lot of the time, it's like you're competing against the boys. It's like you may have Well, they know it's one male and one woman. They know it's one male and one woman? That's enough information. In the final, you're going to have to compete against the men. So the best thing I thought would be to take out some strong men. Mm-hmm. But Josh is worried about the girls, and, yeah. and all the girls are confused because they're like, "We are never going to go against you, not in elimination, and not in the final. We we don't compete." We and don't and compete. I get it. It's like, okay, so maybe you just didn't want to go against Monty or Tyler, but it's like Corey. Like this is what pisses me off with Josh it. because it's like Corey is not even in the Vacation Alliance. Like just because he's a challenge vet does not mean you have to have all of the vets back. Corey can beat you easily in anything head to head. He should have went after Chris. Or Corey, point blank, period. Like, if you yeah. don't want to do Big Brother, it's great. Your Big Brother played the middle. Okay, fine. Why are you not going after Chris or Corey? Two people and, and who your, beat you. Your alliance. Tiffany went home. She was on your team. And she is not going against you in the final. Michaela was going against her. <laughs> not going against you in the final. Chris not and Corey either. will go against you in the final if you make yeah. it there. And they will definitely beat you. And my thing is, you had... He ran the vote because Blue was all of his friends. The first, but that's the, and he, that's the, and that's the, we're talking about final, not even necessarily final. Do you want to see them in an elimination? That you should, you should get out a get strong out. person that you don't have to go against. You think you can beat uh, Chris in a hall brawl, Corey in a, in a tug of war? And this is no. the, he, did, he did all this work to gain or, or keep his allegiances strong and be loyal to the people who are now made enemies to. throughout the entire I wouldn't be surprised he go home in the next few rounds. He's made so many enemies. People are pissed off at him. He's yeah, like, okay. But on the blue team, he basically runs the vote because they're going to do what's best for Josh because they're all friends with Josh. Instead of making them run the vote towards getting out a strong man, he told them get out a strong woman. 
So he's telling his friends. And friend, it's a breakup survivor. Because he wants to put up two strong survivor girls, specifically survivor girls, because he wants to break up the seven strongholds of Survivor. That, that still could have been done by getting Chris put in. Yeah, That's right. the, I would have been like, put in Chris against Corey. Yes. Corey can take out Chris, or yes. Corey just goes home. It's yes. a win win. Yes. We literally, Bananas is mad at Corey. These Tory is mad at Corey because he fucking voted with Alyssa L not too long ago. All y'all had to do, all Josh had to do was take a shot at either Chris or Corey. Period. Instead, he used his thing to break up Survivor. First of all, he didn't break up Survivor. Whoa. Second it's of still, all, it's still crazy, even crazy. And maybe he was just thinking too: if a guy gets, if like, if a, if a guy gets nominated that they want to see go in, he can get votes and he can go in. So maybe that's the big fear. Like, because in this, I, I will. So that's like, that's, only, that's the only thing that makes sense. If a guy goes in that people want to see go home, people are gonna vote a guy. It takes one Josh vote to send him in. But it's like, still playing scared is not gonna get you to win. Like you're gonna you have, to, have go to go against them at some point anyway. Have to go against these people eventually. It does not make any sense. You are either gonna go against Chris now or Chris at the final. Corey now or Corey at the final. So if you're risking getting one of them out and potentially not having to go about against them versus keeping them in and you're going to definitely have to go against them, it doesn't fucking matter. Try to get one of them out so you don't have to go against them. If he would have attempted and it would have worked, then he would have been Gucci. Now both of them are still in here and now it's a singles game, Buki. You're right. I just, I just know Josh is losing whatever the first elimination he goes into and it's going to be hilarious 100%. to watch. 100%. Anyways, he makes the plan to target the girls. He's telling Fessy about the plan, and he's like, Big Brother's going to want a survivor girl to go in. Mm -hmm. So we need to try to make it survivor girls versus survivor girls. Chanel versus Michaela is his goal. Um, the goal is for Blue Team to just vote in Michaela and then them be able to get the votes to vote for Chanel. Mm -hmm. And a part of this plan is that the boy needs to be Tyler because then Big Brother will be incentivized to vote a girl. Yeah, to say that way, basically, I guess. Yes, because I'm and thinking people like won't, I guess I wasn't thinking people I won't don't want to see Tyler go in, but I still think it could have just been Chris because it, if Chris does go in, Chris. like you get home a, a strong survivor guy, like it could have just been Chris, baby, or even yeah. Auntie. Like I feel like risking Tyler, it's like you could have at least risked someone who could beat you in the limit. Or you, that's the thing. I don't think Josh would be nobody in elimination, but I would feel Monty is six four and he weighs two hundred thirty five pounds. Baby, he's a big threat, or at least seemingly. So I don't know. I just feel like nothing makes sense. But anyways, Tyler is just a scapegoat anyways. They don't actually want him to go in. They want a girl to go in. So this is the plan. He tells Corey, Monty, Tyler, Tiffany about the plan. And the whole goal is for them all to agree to vote out. Mind you, Corey, and I'll say, I'm, honestly, I'm going to have to get in Corey's ass real quick because Corey didn't do what the plan. The real reason why Tiffany went in is because she got a vote from Corey and Michelle. Yeah. Those are the only two votes you got. Michelle, fake ass. And Corey, you should have just went with the plan. I don't know why Corey didn't go I don't know why Corey didn't go with the plan. But honestly, but this is the thing. But this is the thing. I do know why he didn't go with the plan. It didn't fucking matter. It literally did not matter. He's not a girl. Yeah. He's not a fucking girl. Whoever girl does not affect Corey at all. It was like, it was like, I mean, don't want to make more enemies. <laughs> don't want to make more enemies. Why would I make a survivor person mad at me when it doesn't matter? A survivor girl mad at me. There's no fucking point. Who gives a fuck? This is a girl's elimination. Just vote a girl. Who cares? It shouldn't matter. You're doing all the strategizing for the women's side. Maybe you're a man. So we think. Tiffany says she doesn't want to go against Survivor. Um, because she's working with the Survivor girls. So even though that's the plan, she's not really necessarily down with it. And then we see... Um, she, oh my God, Tiffany was crying. It got real sad. And that's what I love. I love like these little moments on the challenge that they give. And we can see that now with some of our like faves from other shows. Because mm -hmm. this is a really sad moment for Tiffany. Yeah, she was upset. She felt like um, she keeps doing bad in the challenges. And she felt bad about it. And she's like, maybe they'll have a challenge that she can do. And they were all crying. I love Tiffany because she has a lot of depth to her. You know, she's not just the same in every scenario. Like, Josh. Fuck. I'm just saying. I like people with a lot of layers. You know, Tiffany can be strategic. She can be smart. She can be heartfelt. You know, she can pop off. Some people are just one-trick ponies. I love the openness and vulnerability in this scene, too, because it's like it's really being real about how these challenges are hard. Like, we're yeah. not just rinky-dink coming out here 
doing any old there. thing. Like, these are physically okay. enduring, and it's hard for her. But, I mean, at the end of the day, girl, I think she's still eating it up. Like, point blank in the middle right. of the And that's what Janelle was saying. They were like, you've already stepped out of this box that you put yourself in, girl. You're God. Mm-hmm. It's like, period. I fully agree. The fact that she even, like, did this twice is it's really cool because she's what one of the oldest ladies out there anyway and it's not not too much hey the truth will set you free and it's not one of the easiest things to do like it's just not easy this is hard these bitches are like literally these people are literally like uh physical very physical beings and tiffany's not i mean some of them train like these people train and desi got abs and muscles and all of this like girl this is a lot so she ate that up just for coming back honestly um, boom. We get to the nomination ceremony. This is pretty simple, honestly. Because the girls was like, look, we know who we voting. And of course, the vets are running it because Sebastian sucks they did and everybody else is a vet. So Desi had no nothing she could do. But Bananas is like, look, I'm doing Michaela. She's rally the votes against me. Tell her was like, I'm doing Michaela too. Oh, they uh, want Michaela's neck. Bananas oh. was like, oh my God. Oh no, it wasn't here. And then <laughs> Wes said, it was on the boys vote. Wes said Michaela too. Sebastian said Tiffany because he didn't want to do Survivor. Kes said Tiffany. Wait, wait. It was funny because Desi was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, the body was like, oh, we just throwing it back at you. <laughs> like, shut up. Uh, shut up. <laughs> um, so, yeah, everybody did Michaela. Oh, Desi didn't do Michaela. Desi, Desi did Alyssa. Mm. Well, that was the For the boys, Tori was like, um, look, we don't have to do all Survivor. And, you know, Chris was on our team. So we don't got to do Chris. But we can do Tyler. <laughs> and then was like, oh my God, it's almost like we talked about it before because I was thinking the same thing. Like, almost like we literally oh, talked stupid. about it before. So, shut the fuck up. So, he did Tyler too. Everybody did Tyler. Daisy did Monty and Wes did Chris. Period. Period. Wes. <laughs> so, Tyler's nominated and Michaela's nominated. Tyler saw he was nominated and he was like, you know what? I'm going to be a pawn. Not Tyler. Uh, that's like, not Tyler a pawn. He was like, I'm just going to be a pawn. I was like, this is so weird because I've never, Tyler's never had to be a pawn. Tyler, um, Tyler would never be a pawn in Big Brother. That's what Tyler It's like, <laughs> he would have hated that position. But he accepted it. He accepted it real nice. He was like, I'll just be a pawn and I'll just do what I got to do. I think for this, like, I think for some people, the challenge people just like, know that this is a challenge. You know, people know that this is a challenge. He's here for, to have fun. Meet a girl. Maybe some money. Maybe get some money. Um, cute things. Michaela walks past. She sees it and then she leaves and she walks past Josh and she's like, Josh, I'm sure you're behind this. And Josh was like, why? People, you know, people just said they want a strong girl. That's, why, that's what this is me off. Like, nigga, you got called out. And he's the man who talking about some, why are y'all running in, ro- running in rooms and hiding? And when, when, when on my season of the challenge, we call each other out. We put things on the floor and say da 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 da. Then put it on the floor then. She came right up to your face and said, Josh, I knew you had something to do with it. Well, why are you coming at me? You like, I'm the one who's doing girl. anything. No, nigga, then, you wanted to target a strong girl. And then, and then he's like, and she's like, that doesn't make any sense. That's just like, I love how it's literally, Michaela, literally. Michaela she, is so she always so, about it. she's always so monotone. She's like, I mean, that just doesn't make any sense. Like oh, the person, really? the person is literally yelling, and Michaela's like, what are you talking about? That, that actually doesn't make any sense. Why would men want to come after a strong girl? Girl. <laughs> she says the whole house protects you, um, but it doesn't impact me because you're not a girl. So I'm going to worry about what's happening with the girls. You know, I don't go against the guy. I go against the girl. So even though the whole house is protecting you, I don't care. You're not a girl. Like, and it's like she's trying to... You're not, that, he's, but that's it's the truth, though. Like, you're not like, a girl. I realized it when she said that, though. Because, like, honestly, I didn't peep that it was a guy that was talking to the girl when it didn't matter. Because, like, you know, God. Really? I peeped like, immediately. I was like, targeting a girl? The fuck yeah. is that? <laughs> but it's like, yeah, like, literally, like, She's not your direct competition. She was never ever going to be direct competition in this game, like at all. Ever. And because she's a strong survivor girl, there's a chance that you could be paired up with her. You could, you know, there's a certain it's there's a lot of situations. Have, it's better for boys to have strong girls in the in the game, and it's better for girls to have strong guys in the game. But for boys, they should want the strong guys out so you can compete against weaker and guys. Maybe he thought like this is the best. That's like he said at the beginning. This is the best in shape he's been for one of these challenges. Maybe he thought, I mean, it's a new me. Put me down there, and uh, I'm gonna play. Well, then why not just make it a boys' elimination and get your ass down there and play? And get your ass down there and play. The <laughs> niggas a pussy. 
Honestly, one hundred percent. He's scared as fuck. Pussy, pussy sweet. He's, he 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 did all this training. He did all this working out, and he didn't want to put his money to his mouth. He didn't he didn't want to show his training. Show us how you train. He didn't want to because he's scared as fuck. He was politicking. He was scared. You know he was scared because when Michaela called him out, he was stuttering and stumbling like Bruno. Ooh, girl. Daisy tells Chanel that everybody on Blue was protecting Josh, Corey, and Michelle. <laughs> I love this conversation because they clocked. They clocked me so damn. Chanel was like, Michelle swears she don't got no damn alliances, but your name ain't been said once. And they have not been voting Michelle. She been eating it up. Mm-hmm. And then as they say that, Michelle comes in and basically she has a diary <laughs> saying like, yes, she's playing all sides. And we get this little montage of her in every room, bitch. Every room. So Michelle asks, it's definitely going to get her ass came for soon. <laughs> <laughs> I love Michelle, though. Chanel says, she says a really good sentence. The sentence was, as long as Michelle in the house, I'm going to be collateral damage. And I, I think that's true. Because if they're protecting the Michelle. Was, this week, basically. Yeah. If they're protecting Michelle, somebody else got to go in. But if Michelle goes, somebody else got to go in. You know? Um. So, look. Michelle got to go in. Mm-hmm. Then they go to the club. And I like I like this little diary from uh, Tyler when he was like uh, going out and talking to these people like outside of the game is like one of my favorite things about this game like the challenge and it's like that's interesting because like that's true like Savara, so Amazing Rays, Big Brother, it's all game all the time. You're yeah. never socializing with these people outside of the game. Even if you have a normal conversation, it's within playing a strategic game twenty four seven. There is no break mentally. So I think it's like this. This is it's cute to see them. They're drunk. It's that. not like they're just out. They're literally drunk. Drunk yeah, as fuck. like they're not playing the game. They're chilling and drunk. Uh, so bananas and West, and this is the thing. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, bananas, West, Josh, they're all dramatic as fuck. But for mm-hmm. me, I'm always fuck with bananas and West. They are at the they end chill. of the day, they, they cool. They, they cool. Chill. They chill. They regular ass humans. Some people just can't be that way. It seems. So I love that bananas and West can just be chill. So right there, they got a chill ass moment. They freaking can. And they're literally like talking about how they're gonna match make Tyler and Alyssa. Tyler and Alyssa have been courting for fucking all season. So like, fuck all this courting shit. Y'all need to get down to it. Which honestly, thank you. Because if they were gonna keep showing this fucking showman, I needed them to actually be fucking. So I'm honestly Oh my God. <laughs> actually made it happen because it was not giving showman. It was giving random feelings. Like, please get to it. It was. Ah! What happened? Hello? I don't know. The mic is gone. So, yeah, basically, they bring over Alyssa and they're telling Alyssa. So, what we're going to do is, if we're going we're gonna to sit you by the bar and we're going to tell Tyler, look, if you don't give Alyssa a kiss, you know, we have all of the control on this vote. If you don't give Alyssa a kiss, <laughs> it's gonna you can go in. It's going to be a guy's elimination. Girl, <laughs> so that was the plan. It was a whole setup. Mind you, Alyssa was geek. She wanted that Alyssa kiss. Was playing, back. playing her role. She was. <laughs> <laughs> she was excited, bitch. I wonder if someone's gonna come over here. And then Tyler went over there, and he was like, "We gotta save you know, we gotta save me." And she was like, "We gotta save you, Tyler." And he was like, "How can we save me?" <laughs> Loki A, like, the scream! Oh my god, He's Loki A, like my sister. Little... Was it that serious? You gotta go back and watch it. I mean, I didn't think it was that cute. How we gonna save me? And this is like, I know how we gonna. <laughs> and that's how she saved them. And they was. Eating each other's face. Just night. because you in love with Tyler. But you better fuck me all night. Tyler is a cutie patootie. I'm sorry. Yeah, they literally kissed all night. Like, they we, they had, like, it, they were moving from different positions in the bed. Oh, okay. Different <laughs> position for you. No, you know what I like? You know what I like, Tyler? I love a nigga who minds his fucking business. And Tyler minds his fucking business. Unless, he, unless he's beefing with Bailey. <laughs> Unless he's in love. <laughs> oh my god. He can't he can't hold it in when he's in love. Everybody knows Tyler was in love with Bailey. It's okay. I was in love with Bailey. And Tyler. And then this is where we Tyler. get to the uh secret vote or whatever. Yeah. And we start off with Michelle and she's saying, of course, she does, she along with everybody. But I guess her true allegiance is to Survivor. Because mm-hmm. she's like, she don't want to do it to a solo survivor. And she's along with everybody. She's along with the challenge vets. So the only mm-hmm. vote she can throw out is Tiffany. And it's like oh! Michelle, you are a dummy. Girl. <laughs> if Michaela is in and you know you're running a final, I would have voted Desi. Oh, I can't vote it. I would have voted Chanel. I would have voted somebody who's strong. I would have voted someone who could knock Michaela out. Baby, 
It wasn't Tiffany. Even if I was gonna vote Big Brother, I probably would have voted Alyssa. Someone who potentially could be do better. I mean, than she me. was working with Tiffany way more than Alyssa. That's the thing, and no offense. I, I like it's no shade to my girl. Tiffany was the weakest girl in the house. Michelle. Yes. I would argue maybe Alyssa. Anyways, Tiffany was the weakest girl in the house. Michelle, this is an anonymous vote. Literally, every there's seven survivors left. You don't need to be survivor strong in this moment. Y'all are good, babe. It's six of y'all, seven of y'all. If one leaves, it's six. You could have either taken out a survivor girl who was stronger than you or just taken out not literally the weakest person ever. No shame. No shame. No shame. No shame. You but if she could beat somebody in the final, it was definitely anybody. It, it was not. It, I'm sorry. It was Tiffany. If she could beat somebody in the final, it was Tiffany. Michelle is losing the game. She can't beat none of these girls in the final. I don't really think it's a fair argument. Michelle's pretty strong. So you just spent that time calling Tiffany and Michelle stupid for no reason. Anyway, I guess guess we'll. Monty says he votes with Chanel because Michelle ate his ass up. I was like, really, Monty? Really? Still being a coon, I see. Uh, Ah! (laughs) JK, but Michelle really ate that up because he said, fuck a big brother alliance. I'm voting Tiffany. Okay. Oh, wait, no, Chanel. 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 That's like, what Michelle, girl? <laughs> Michelle ate that up. Because yeah. how the fuck did Michelle and Monty get a relationship? <laughs> she ate that the fuck up. That's how. And then Corey voted Tiffany. Like. Corey didn't care. It was boys. Lim- it was a girl's relation. I get it. I don't. I'm, girl, Michelle's going to lose the game. This was a wasted week. I feel like everyone wasted this. I hate to. I hate to say it. But I feel like everybody was just doing too much this episode. Josh is targeting girls. Corey is voting in girls. Baby, take out a man. Do something. Take out somebody strong. Anyways, so boom, we get to the uh, hopper in the arena. So we at the arena. TJ doing his little hopper, but we, we do the votes. Tiffany has two votes. Of course, it was Corey, Michelle, Monty had one. Alyssa F had one. Josh had one, and he knew he knew it was who did he know it was? Chanel. Yeah, because Chanel was making a face. I think Josh did all that and still got a vote. You might as well have just made it a boy. Corey did one. Mm-hmm. Corey got one, and Chanel got four. So boom, it should have been Chanel. Like four votes for Chanel. So I guess the plan was for it to be Chanel versus. Oh, the plan was for it to be Michelle versus Chanel versus Michaela, um, but it was not because Tiffany's vote got pulled out, and it was Tiffany. <laughs> my girl. And I knew she was losing because Michaela's beating everybody here. I don't see anybody beating Michaela. Other yeah, than that. Not an elimination. Not an elimination. Other than that. And it's like, girl, damn. But it's Michaela versus Tiffany. And I blame Michelle. And I'm mad about it. Anyway, no, I really do blame Michelle. I like... And I'm I mad about it. Michelle girl, got too. Shit. Anyways, Tiffany says <laughs> she calls the girls out. She's like, look, y'all always want to make it a girl's elimination. Y'all keep saying, y'all, y'all just gonna keep staying up there. Just keep staying up there, kissing ass, kissing everybody ass, cause y'all don't want to get out there and play. Y'all don't want to get out there and play. It's like, period. They really don't. And then she kept going on. She's like, it's not women that's whooping y'all ass. It's the men that's out here whooping y'all ass, but y'all scared to come down here and play. You know, so you know, y'all. And Josh I'll, 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 personally, be happy tonight. Be happy tonight because y'all don't gotta go in. Here goes y'all. He definitely felt hit because she was spilling. A hit dog. What a, what's a hit dog gonna do? Holler. And everybody was quiet, but who? Joshua. The dog. Holler. I Josh. really I really don't appreciate that, Tiffany, because And it's funny because he literally visibly got hit because he knows the entire plan was was him. He knows he's the one who wanted the girl to go in so bad. So when she's saying what she's saying, she's not even thinking about him because she don't know that plan. You made the plan. Damn. She's not thinking, she's not thinking, of, she didn't, what you do know. But that's the thing, she's just talking. She's just mad in general. So many girls have gone in and he's feeling hit. He's feeling like hit dog. So he's mad, he's speaking. And Tiffany's literally like, Josh, I was not even talking to you. I was talking in general. I'm talking to everybody. But since you want to take everything personal, it's stupid because Josh didn't even want Tiffany to go. He literally had a diary room and he was like, well, this isn't what I wanted. Well, he had a whole plan and it's like stupid. <laughs> this is a waste of your time. Super plan, you wasted your time, and then Tiffany. A big brother girl went home. When it could have been a man. Oh, well. Yep. Boom. The competition is top heavy. 
they're going to be attached to these beams. You got to rock them back and forth until you reach a set of balls in the air. You grab the ball and then you rock back the other way. You got to shoot the ball in the hoop. The first person who can get 10 goals wins. If you've seen Survivor, Michaela is good at the hooping bitch. She basically makes all of she them. She really was great at challenges in general in Survivor. Like, that was a, she would, she really ate. She I really love seeing Michaela like, like shot in this episode because I feel like we haven't, I haven't really seen her since, um, of course, Survivor. And it's like, I miss her personality. I feel like the challenge just definitely fits her more. It does. She's so chill too. I really like Michaela. So boom, they get started. And honestly, Michaela was doing really, really good. Yeah. Michaela got, um, at first she had to, it was a learning curve, but once she got it, she literally damn near got all of them in a row. So she had got eight in a row and Tiffany, you know, Tiffany didn't get any just yet. But I love how, like, as I said, I think Tiffany's social game, like, it clearly eats like these challenge girlies yeah. love her over there, and that's what I'm saying. Like, it, this is not the MTV version, so like, I feel like she could definitely keep coming back. Like, one of these days, she can get a final because, like, it's like, yeah. like, I don't doubt that she could beat some of the girls, even in this cast, in an elimination, definitely without yeah. Michaela. But not Michaela. she was rocking with Michaela. The thing, the goal is to not get sent in, but this is such a random season that it's like anything can happen, girl. Yeah, anything it can is happen. literally but, random. It's just, I found it really interesting because, like, she got one and they all cheered. Because yeah. <laughs> you could just tell they really liked her so much. And TJ was like, I'm proud of you, Tiffany. Mm-hmm. There you go, it Tiffany. Was, yeah, it Tiffany. It was cool that she got one, though. Because, honestly, she was doing so. She was doing really bad. I was like, damn. But when she got the one, it was like, yes. I really felt that. But she tried. I love that she didn't just get up there and just not do it at all. She literally tried. She was trying to shoot him. She was missing mm-hmm. You know, so I think what it was too, like she was so light and then she was short, so it's like I was thinking how she was with the ass ball. And, um, the throwing of the actual ball, like I mean, Michaela was just taller. Michaela is very tall, so it was very, it was way easier for her to kind of like just lay back, literally kind of lay back. Just, Tiffany had to like pull it a little bit. It was a lot, but um, Michaela ends up winning, and Tiffany is going home, and Michaela gets the chance to defect, of course, but. TJ was like, you know, before you defect, mm, go back up there with your team. And they was like, oh, what's going on? She said she was going to take Tori's spot, too. Oh, she did. She said she was going to take Tori's spot in blue and send Tori to green. Because she was like, I don't want Tori to be, be unsafe for a little bit. She should have put Tori on red. Because Tori been safe uh, a long oh, time. Oh, no, no, child, no vets would have been on green. That would have been interesting. She would have been the only vet on green. Yeah. Oh, cool, yeah. So, boom. Um, but... It doesn't happen because TJ is like, it's going to be a single game now. Every man and every woman. Every man. <laughs> and every woman. But like, literally, for this, themselves. this is just proof to me that Josh should have been focused on taking out a strong man. Michelle, who I'm still going to slug, should have been focused on taking out a strong woman. Yeah, because I will say, a lot of people who've gone home, it's like, Amanda, Dusty. Like, like Luis, this was his first challenge. Like, y'all aren't taking out competitors. These are people y'all got to compete with. And now that it's singles, y'all will be competing against these people now. Michelle, you got to compete against McKenna now. You got to compete against these people who you have been in line with now. Josh, you have to compete against Bananas. All these like, challenge vets you've yes. been protecting that you can't Coral. beat. Like, y'all, y'all, I need y'all to play a little bit more aggressively. You need to take out strong people early on. It doesn't matter if you're friends. It doesn't matter if you're allies. Make other friends. That's the thing. Michelle has other friends, which is why I don't get why she did it. Josh has Big Brother. I don't get why he did it. Y'all have other friends. Work with the other friends. Take out the people who are better at the comps so you can win the fucking game. You're never winning the challenge. Even if y'all make a final, you're losing. <laughs> Fuck. That's it. God damn. But next episode, they're going to be single. So that's going to be interesting to see. We get a different shift. I like how in the challenge nowadays, they're like, they do a beginning setup and then they shift it in the middle, like to singles or to a different team, whatever. So that's pretty cute. Yeah. So, yes, tune in next week. We will be covering the challenge again. Make sure you subscribe. Follow us everywhere at T Reality Kingdom. And thank you for keeping it real with the motherfucking kingdom.